Hey guys, welcome to Midnight Tech and today uh, we're going to do the uh, unboxing of the new iPhone Pro Max Yep, so this is shipped directly by Apple And here we go And here it is, the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Um, this is the purple color one. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna open the seal. There it goes. And here's the phone. So inside the box, as usual, we'll take this and put this aside. There is the so one of the only flagship uh, smartphone today with its own proprietary cable, the lightning cable. God knows how long this guy will be around. And. Manuals, the SIM ejector tool. So for Malaysia, we still have the traditional SIM card tray. In the US, in some countries, they've gone totally eSIM. And one Apple sticker. Alright, so that's the box. So it's in the box. And let's do some media comparisons with uh, what I'm currently using, which is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now, uh, if I came from a 13, based on the reviews I've seen and uh, what I expect, I would likely not have upgraded this. But I think if you are like me from the 12 Pro Max, uh, moving on, uh, it does substantial upgrade. So physically, you can see that the camera module is larger. Yeah. So the camera module is larger. You can see. So definitely the old cases for the 12 Pro will not fit. This is a larger camera module. The dimensions are about the same. Yep. Dimensions are about the same. And the thickness is also about the same. Big mega difference is the camera module if you're coming from a Shaw Pro Max. And there you see the dynamic island as opposed to that notch, right? Okay, so I'm going to set this guy up and immediately then the phone is here, it says to set up new phone. So we'll continue from the old phone. So once you verify the phone, um, straight away starts to set things up here so it should be a straightforward process 
and then you set up your face ID so if you're coming from the older iPhone the um, the only interesting thing is this camera bump that's big uh, bigger other than that this in terms of physical wow there's really not much there so uh, we now support Apple Pay here locally you can set that up later and there you go it's transferring from this guy to this guy right so it took me about 20 minutes to get the transfer done there seemed to be some issues I somehow could not restart this device after I did the transfer so for those who run into this problem what you need to do is quickly press the up down and hold on the power button and it should restart so there you see the dynamic island which is the significant change smaller pill size front facing uh, camera system and an interactive one yep so uh, of course it's more obvious if you're coming from the 12 on the 13 not as much because that's really a smaller notch so we wait for this guy to start up Here we go, so exactly the same settings have been transferred. So you can see this is on the left, my iPhone 12 Pro Max. And here, the new iPhone. That's where I swap the uh, SIM card. So here goes the SIM to the tray. So just some uh, additional thoughts on the uh, entire transfer process from moving from my iPhone 12 Pro Max to the 14 Pro Max. So the transfer process was uh, simple and so for those who never tried this before, some of your apps, all your sign-ons, whatever it is, uh, will be seamlessly transferred. Some, you know, require you to sign in again. So you forgot your passwords or did not save uh, them as part of your iCloud keychain then uh, you got to remember your passwords or uh, reset them for some of your apps and uh, WhatsApp thankfully transfers is seamlessly across all you need to do is to uh, resign in again with your phone number and you're good to go so I think the transfer process was easy um, just to take note so it's ready for prime time now so a review will follow soon and this is D Josh for Midnight Tech. See you on the next one.